someone's head. Hey guys, this is Max. Haven't had a video in a while, so I thought maybe we could do a shoe review. We got the LeBrons, we got the KDs, and we got the Curry Lows. First, let's take a look at the Nike Zoom LeBron Soldier 9s. So, open up the box. We got, here they are. The color is Blue Soar. There's a little LeBron sign on the front right there. And also, there's a LeBron sign on the bottom. These shoes retail for $140. These shoes are made with an innovative strap system and a lower profile. There's a lot of cushioning inside the shoe for protection of impact. The traction for these shoes is very good as it has little hexagons on the bottom to give your foot good support on the court. There is also a durable rubber element that helps you not slip on the court. According to Nike, the innovative strap system provides 360 degree lockdown, helping support your foot. The sidewalls of this shoe wrap up higher, but I think that these shoes are a little stiff. The shoes might even restrict your movement. I'm not a big fan of the LeBrons, but these actually don't look too bad. They look like they have more support than the other LeBrons that I've had before. These shoes also are a little more light. So I would say these shoes are an improvement from the old LeBrons, but still not great. So why don't we move on to the KDs? All right guys, now we're gonna look at the KDs. To be exact, these are the KD Tray 5-3. Very confusing name. Um, Alright, so let's look at these. So I'm going to package them. I'll look at them. And they're like uh, a reddish pink. The color is like a university red. It's a nice change of pace if you aren't a fan of the KD low tops. The midsole is rather similar to the KD8s. There is a similar extended heel. Continuing to the front of the shoe, there are large grooves in the forefoot. But unfortunately, that's where the similarities end. The counter heel helps lock your foot in place for stability. On the heel, you see a unique graphic of plus signs. Who knows, maybe KD was a math teacher before he went to the NBA. But the plus signs don't have to do with math. The plus signs are a reference to KD's love of video games. The low line strap helps provide a lockdown fit. With the Nike Zoom technology in the sole, there is very good traction. So now that we've talked about the structure of the shoe, I'm gonna tell, tell you guys about my opinion. Um, I had KDs before, and they were a little bit lower than this. I don't think they had very good ankle support, so I ended up selling them to a friend, honestly. Uh, these, I don't know if I would have them as a basketball shoe, but I really like the coloring of it. And the traction doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. I like them a lot better than the low tops, and let's move on to the Currys. Finally, let's look at the Curry One Lows. All right, so let's take a look at them. Uh, these shoes are black and of course are charged by belief. Under Armour tells us that the Curry Ones are designed for the game's most unguardable players. The charge cushioning absorbs impact. The Anaform Upper gives the shoe a lightweight structure and support. I always wonder what the Anaform was. The external heel counter will secure your foot and eliminate sliding. I totally agree with that, you do not slide in these shoes. There's also the padded mesh tongue with the Sports Center, oh nope, Steph Curry logo. It protects your foot and it's breathable, and also the tongue will stay in place. Also on the sides of the shoes, you'll notice dots that are in the cushioning of the shoe. All right, now let's move on to the traction of the shoe. Um, again, as of all the Currys, there is a lightning bolt with the Under Armour sign. And there's also um, little little tiny arrows pointing in all directions that provide the sh that provide the shoe with really good traction. I think this shoe offers really good control and it's light. This shoe is the least expensive of all three shoes at $110 of retail. If I had to pick one shoe as my favorite, I would probably have the Curry's as my favorite, just because um, I'm used to them. And even though this is a low top, I'm sure that it would uh, provide just as much. Uh, support as the uh, other curries. My second favorite shoe would probably be the, the KDs. Just because of the fact that KD has never come out with a, um, a high top shoe before. And this is a, a trying new things for him. 
and uh, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I've tried them on, I feel pretty good. And then my least favorite shoe, again, would probably be the LeBrons. LeBron is the most famous out of all these people, but his shoes are the worst out of all. You think that's ironic? Even though that's a fact, I still love LeBron and the Cavs. Make sure to watch my next video, as I'll be reviewing some Kyrie's. I can't wait for the college and NBA season. Thanks for watching my shoe review. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think about these shoes. Subscribe below, and until next time, from Max Hoops.